in 2023, I'm trying to figure out as many ways as possible to save time in my journey to become a more efficient father slash man. Walmart, how may I help you? Hi, I placed an order for pickup. Hi, what's the name? Oscar Morales. Are you waiting on an order? Yes, I am. What's the last name on M it? Morales, M-R-A-L-E-S. Sweet, thank you so much. You too. Having someone do the majority of your grocery shopping for you is a great way to save some time. Now, I said the majority of my grocery shopping because there's still certain things I like to pick out. For example, produce. I've had them pick it out for me before, but usually I end up getting things that look like this instead of this. This is way fresher. And at times, I forget to order things like socks. The kids need socks. But that right there only took me five minutes. Grocery shopping usually takes me an hour to sometimes two hours. Love the pickup. Hope it's not broken. Oh no, there we go. That was kind of weird. I just lost all my groceries trying to get that clip. Somebody's in there right now with my groceries. No way they steal them, right? Sweet. <laughs> Can you imagine whoever was in that elevator must have thought, what the, a wagon full of groceries? Man, I love this thing though. I would've been so sad if it was gone. Now, I don't recommend anybody do this, and I know it's not optimal, it's definitely not the healthiest, but it's just one of the ways that I've been saving time and being more efficient throughout the day by having only one meal throughout my day. Today I'm having some soup with some veggies. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a dietitian, I'm not a nutritionist, so truly I can't recommend any of this. But as I've been going through this journey and trying to figure out what I'm willing to sacrifice in order to save time and be more productive, I realized that sitting down and eating takes at least 20 minutes. Do that three times a day and that's a whole hour. Now if you decide to cook just at least one of those meals, that's an extra hour on top of that. Honestly, it's been way better than I expected. There's been a host of other pros that I didn't expect, but I feel like I should make a separate video on those. I don't recommend it. I'm just sharing with you guys what I'm doing. Anywho, I think my food is ready. Can't forget about dessert. Mm. The yogurt bars. So it's not a full-blown treat. It's still yummy. Uh, this is a full-blown treat. That one is. So, um, after being cooped up in the apartment the last few days, I promised the kids that we would go out and have some fun today. An adventure park sounds like fun. Let's go see what this place is about. Come on, guys. Yay! Good job! Oh, no! <laughs> This place is so cool for the kids. But to get back on the subject of today's video, I'm not trying to become an overly optimized freak. I'm just trying to make more time for the things that truly matter to me, like... <laughs> Hanging out with my kids and watching them have fun? That's something that matters. Being a good dad matters to me. Vlogging matters to me. Good editing matters to me. Becoming a real estate agent matters to me. Staying in shape matters to me. But speaking of staying in shape, we're at the climbing gym now. So uh, this next thing I do, it doesn't really save any time, but it is an efficiency thing. I feel like most people struggle with finding or making time to go to the gym, especially when you have kids. And I get it, all right? Motivation and time are the two biggest obstacles when it comes to committing to the gym. But if you find a fun hobby that keeps you in shape, that's your motivation right there. It's fun to do, you wanna go do it. And if you struggle with finding time because of your kids, well, find something you can do with them or that they can at least be around while you're doing. The more fun and accessible your workouts are, the more you'll just match find some extra time to do them. Back at the house. And dude, 
I need to get a dining room table and some stools. This is not okay. We need a table, huh, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Now, of course, I've also been trying out like the mainstream productivity hacks, like less sleeping in, less social media, and less going out to party and drink. Oh, I forgot about that one. That's a huge time saver. But I feel like these were kind of like three that were unique to me that I haven't really seen anyone else talk about. And I kind of touched on this earlier, but I really want to make it clear that I'm not go, go, go 24 seven. I definitely find time to relax, especially when I'm hanging out with friends or family. I just want to waste less time. Everybody wants to be more productive and truthfully, I'm, oh, I'm so scared of failure. We definitely don't want to repeat a 2022. So we're going to put a little more effort into this 2023. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.